Greetings, greetings. <laughs> How is everyone? How is everyone today? Let's see, we got my friend from Pennsylvania. How you doing? Who else we got? Blanks, our friends at Blanks. No one asked for. Good evening or good afternoon. Mr. Newland, nice to see you. Mandy, Mandy Story, how are you from across the pond? How is everyone today? We all ready for a bit of a, is that light? Is that okay, that light, all right? I, have to, I need to apologize about my backing, it's a bit boring, isn't it? I need to get like fancy shelves and some lighting and stuff, but uh, you can have to make do with the Union Jack and a uh, light. So, how is everyone? Let me know how you're getting on. Nathan, how are you? Just let me have a little slurp of tea. I do, I do need dancing dinosaurs. <laughs> I just wonder if that's how, I might turn that off, is that any better? That's a bit better. I'm very well, Copper Buttons, how are you today? Dancing Squirrel, yeah, that's going back to my, that was a hundred layers of foundation challenge I did, yeah, the Dancing Squirrel. So let me know, let me know, where are you, where are you guys from? Give me, and I'll give you a shout out, I saw Albuquerque just a minute ago. It's, it's made to look like an antler, um, but it's not, it's like a fake, but it's supposed to look like an antler, don't worry. Don't worry kids, Rudolph will be around at Christmas. So I've got all the names in here. And we have up for grabs all this, all this chocolate. Look at that. That's nearly, it's like bigger than my head. One of them. So that's pure dairy milk chocolate. Caramel. Oreo. And I believe some of you like, is it deep fried Oreos? Am I right on that one? Hey, Mandy. Chopped nut. And fruit and nut. Mm. Yes. I'll tell you what, if, if um, New Orleans, is it? No, I had a discussion, Pink Pearl Disney. I've had a discussion. Is it New Orleans or is it New Orleans? If you can let me know. I always thought it was New Orleans. Is it? And I've heard, but I've heard people say New Orleans. You can let me know. That would be awesome. Yeah, they do look good, Mandy. Did I see, is Sean in the chat? Did I see Sean? Sorry, my eyes are not what they used to be. Sure. Hey, Sean. How are you, sir? You drumming, drumming lots? Um, yes. Lots of chocolate. Ah, okay, thank you. How, how do you say it, Pink Pearl Disney? Do you say New, New Orleans or New Orleans? What's the Laser Hornet, what is the giveaway for? It's just because I'm really, really nice. <laughs> and I love you guys. So I've gone out and bought all this Cadbury chocolate because we spoke about candy, didn't we? We did a video on candy and I said about Cadbury milk chocolate. So I've gone out. So one lucky winner, one lucky winner is going to win that bad boy, that chappy. He's big news, lots of Oreos as well. New Orleans. Ah, cool. Dylan, 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 how you doing? Look at that. Look at, look at this chocolate. Oh, and I, 
I'm waiting to do a video on these little chaps as well. Oh my God, look at this. It's been so hard and I've actually found out that our local shop sells Reese's. And I need to apologize to you all because in the video, and this goes to show how <laughs> I just don't really know anything. I kept saying Reese, but I, I was kindly corrected and it's Reese's. So I've got a whole box of like Reese's stuff here. Um, and that was given to me by my lovely, uh, my lovely wife for my birthday, because my birthday a few week ago. Yeah, week ago, 10 days ago. Um, so yeah, I, I've had some Reese's, which was cool. Alison! Fist bump, high five, fist bump. Amanda Perez, how are you? Daniel Singleton. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna try, I wanna try and shout everyone out. So much love to all of you. Thank you so much for, yeah, it's been quite mad. A mad four weeks, five weeks. You guys have been brilliant. You've just, you guys have transformed my channel and it's just gone, yeah. Ooh, it's been amazing, absolutely amazing. So, a couple more shout outs. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> I'm actually sweating a little bit. I don't know why I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? But yeah, I've got all the, in here, look, I've got all the names. Lots of very, very technical here at Mr. H and Friends Towers. We've got all the technology. So, I've, I've written them on bits of paper and put them in a cup. just in case you haven't. So we've got lots of names in here. Oh, thank you, Dylan. Hope, yeah, I'm just, like I say, I'm just trying to post as much as I can without being a pain in the, in, in the bum um, or, the, or the fanny, dare I say that, in the bottom. Um, but yeah, I want to try and do as much as I can to uh, entertain you guys. Uh, Need to shout out Copper Buttons as well. You you were one of the first people that sort of reached out as things started to take off. So your support, all of your support has been wonderful. But yeah, I just need to uh, shout you guys out because it's uh, br absolutely brilliant. Your, uh, your support has been very, very humbling. Now, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, uh, Pink Pearl at Disney Wishes. Thank you very much. Are you guys ready for me to do the draw? If you haven't liked the video yet, if you haven't liked the video, if you can like the video, I see there's 15 people in the chat, which is awesome. If you can like the video, that would be brilliant. There's 16 people in the chat, so there's a couple of people who haven't liked the video yet. If you can like the video, if you haven't yet, we can get to 16 there's 16 people in the room we get a couple more likes i will do the draw it's very it's very uh very technical here hmm. <laughs> so h am i saying this right street triple Love you too, Blanks, no one asked for, a channel that's, um, we're, we're very good friends of the channel, Blanks, no one asked for, go check them out, really, really, really funny guys, four guys from North Carolina, lovely, lovely people, very, very funny, so check them out, let's do it, evil laughs, fingers crossed, drum roll, we need, we actually, maybe get Sean to do a drum roll, because Sean's a, a drummer as well. Okay, um, Fanny, uh, so you, our, our cousins, you guys across the pond call Fanny, you know, your bum, or your backside. Over here, a, a, how can I say this by being, okay, a, a Fanny over here is, is a lady's um, love garden. Love garden. So if you are over here, don't use the word Fanny because it, it refers to a lady's yeah, so that is what Fanny means over here. So we, we're, we're learning, which is good. Ah, oh, sure, nice little drum roll going on there, thank you. 
Triumph Motorcycle. Cool. Street Purple. Street Triple. Okay, we ready then, guys? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. The winner of this year's Capri Dairy Milk Chocolate, Mr. H and Friends winner, KM Weber dot KW. Are you here? KM Weber dot KW. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Anyone here? <laughs> KM Weber. KM Weber dot KW. Now, if you are watching this on catch up, if you can message me um, on the web on the website, www.mrh and friends. It, it looks like Mr. Hands and friends, but it's Mr. H www.mrhandfriends.com. Um, if you sign up on there, you can send me a message, direct message. So kmweber.kw. I've not obviously not put your full web address on there or your email. If you can reach out to me, that would be cool. And with your address, and I will send you all of these. Mr. <laughs> Mr. H. It's like a fan. There's so many of them. And then it's like this one here. So do we have K Weber here? Sorry, I'm not doing very good here. <laughs> not respecting, not disrespecting anyone's love garden. <laughs> cool. Do do do. Stay. Weber won the jackpot. I know. I'll tell you what, this is once this is life changing. This this competition is life changing. I made it my mission to go out there and change people's lives. <laughs> Second prize more. <laughs> Yeah, Cadbury's cream eggs are lovely. We've got Easter coming up. Um, the big one is, actually, I don't, mm, no, it's not. It's a bit, no, it's not a kilo. 360 grams. I thought it, I thought it would be more than that. But would you like me to do more of these? Maybe we could do something once a month. A little prize draw of my appreciation for all of you guys. K, and again, yeah, K Weber. Message me on um, on the on the website or yeah, message me on the website. It's all secure. You can uh, and give me your address and I will personally post these to you. Um, what do you guys think? Is that was that a bit of fun? Would you like me to do something like this a bit more often? Maybe do something once a month. Yeah, cool. Second, uh, something uniquely British. We'll make a cup of tea. As long as you don't throw it in the uh, in the harbour, I'll be all right. <laughs> mm. Okay, Daniel Singleton, have a lovely day. Much love to you and your family from across the pond, from over here in, in Blighty in England. Second prize. Well, I, 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 I tell you what, just for you guys, I will do a second prize, but I'm, I've got to go over to the shop and buy it. I will, this is all for first prize, okay? Second prize, I will go over to the shop tomorrow, because it's closed now, and buy another one of these. 
Okay, so we will do a second prize. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Yes, good idea, Nick. Yeah, good idea, Nikita. Well done. So, what's that, Sean? What's that? Prey line, prey line, praline. Is that is that a make a chocolate? Or have I just like come in a conversation at the wrong time? Okay. We're going, to, we're going to do we're going to do prize number two, second place. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let it be someone in the chat. Jody Ben. Jody Ben. Oh. Peanut butter sweets, that sounds awesome. Jody Ben. Not sure if you are here. If you're not, don't worry. Jody Ben, that's prize number two. That's second prize. And I will go over the shop personally and buy one of these for you. I just need your address. So go to the website. Send me a, a, a direct message with your address, and I will post that to you. I'm, I, I kind of want someone to, on the chat to win as well. Mm. Linnell, how are you? Little shout out to you. Hope you're well. <laughs> Always the bridesmaid. Oh, Alison, I, I kind of bloody hell! This is this is gonna you're costing me a fortune here, guys. I'm gonna do a third prize, okay? And it's gonna be one of these small ones, okay? So fir first prize is gonna win all that. Second prize was Jody is gonna win that, and we're gonna do a third prize, okay? So you don't get this on any other channel, I tell you. There's no other channel this generous. I mean, forget Mr. Beast. I'll do a one of these chocolate bars, but I'll have to obviously go buy it for a small bar, a smaller bar, 95 gram, smaller bar. Okay, we're gonna go for third place. That was me trying to do a drum roll. No, no, it's fine. We're going to do third place. Third place. Come on. Come on. I want it to be someone that's in the chat. It's got to be. One of these people in the chat. It's got to be. Come on. I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh, two there. Hen Skull. H E N S K O L. Hen Skull. That will be third place with one of these. Not that, not this exact one, but one similar. I'll go to the shop and buy them. So first place we have KMWeber.kw. Jody Ben, second place. And we've got a third place, Hen Skull. Hen Skull. Oh, my God. Mandy, what are you doing? Why did you? Oh, why did you? Oh, bless you. My first, I got my first super chat. <laughs> oh, Mandy, thank you so much. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm blushing. Bloody hell, that's so nice. Mandy, thank you so much. Get yourself a cup of tea or down payment on drumsticks. <laughs> Thank you, man. That was 
so so kind that was my my first ever super chat i can't believe it and it worked thank you gas that's yeah so i'm going red now i'm getting a bit embarrassed but thank you very much oh, that's lovely thank you mandy um i'm getting red <laughs> Whew. so tell me i've got i've actually got a little surprise. Well, I say a little surprise. It's quite a big surprise, actually. This, this came today. So maybe if you're uh, Audrey, how are you? I, this came today, and I think if you are here... Mr. Zach, Zaxter, I think you may have sent this. It's not ticking, but yes, I might do an unboxing if anyone's interested. Let me know if anyone's interested to see what's in here. Yeah, a box. Is this, this actually came today. Dude, blanks. Why, why did you do that? For, oh, God. I'm getting really embarrassed now. Thank you. Bloody hell, Zach. That's really kind, Zach. Thank you. High five, fist bump. That's so, dude, that's so, so kind. Ten, $10. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bloody hell. I'm, That's lovely. Frank, Zach, anyone on here on the chat, blanks no one asked for. I will put a link in the description, but yeah, my friends in this YouTube journey, lovely, lovely, lovely guys. And I think this, this might actually be from them as well. Lynn L, open the box. I'm gonna open the box. Be careful, kids, with sharp objects. <laughs> Sean Bowen, better not be socks and pants. Well, another fun fact. I know you, a lot of you. Oh, what wow, bloody hell! So, pardon my French. Amia, five dollars. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh my god. I'm getting really. I'm actually. Whoo, I'm actually getting <laughs> getting a bit red actually. Jesus, thank you so much. I, what, wow, thank you. Amia, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you are gonna make me cry. A bit of a bit of a bit of a wet wet one, me, but um yes. Nathan, you gotta go. Okay, my friend, thank you so much for hanging out. I might do this every month, so it'd be really, really cool to maybe do this once a month and then uh, we can all get out, hang out and, and, uh, and have a chat and stuff. So, awesome. Just quick before, thank, i got to say thank you again, you guys, for the, the super chats, really. Yeah, thank you. Right, okay, I'm going to open it up now. I think this is from Ooh. envelope. <laughs> oh, my God, that's lovely. That's from our friends, our friends at the Blanks. No one asked for. Congratulations on 2,000 subs and monetization, Mr. H. This is only the beginning. Your friends from across the pond, Blanks, no one asked for. That. That's lovely. That's really, really kind. I will, um, I know I've not, I, I'm not actually looked inside it yet. Might just be an empty box. 
Oh my, oh my God, oh, Jesus. Oh my God, copper, wow, copper buttons. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much for the, the super chat. Bloody hell. I'm, I, don't, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm dribbling. <laughs> No, not, it's not a puppy. It's close. It's very close. Right. Bloody hell. Zach, Taylor, Josh, Mark, Blanks. Um, no one asked for. Love you guys. Brilliant channel. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Hershey's Reese's. I didn't even know they did such a thing. This is amazing. Did you, did you know they did Hershey's? Did a, a, a Reese, Reese's? Bloody hell. God, I'm going to have to do a couple of videos. I'm not sure I can eat all this in one go, but I could give it a go. Oh, my God. I'm so blown away. Hershey's sprinkles, sprinkles and cream. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, dear. Um, nerds. Watermelon and cherry. I don't, I don't think they do nerds over here. I think I... No, they don't. Oh, I'm going to try these. Look at all this candy. My God. So I'm just quickly... I don't want to miss anyone in the chat, that's all. Um, oh. Chocolate's always good. Yes, nerds. God, this is this is this. I just, oh my god! <laughs> look, I didn't realise they had all these different variations of Reese's. Look, Reese's take five. I didn't want to put my glasses. I didn't really want to put my glasses on, but I might have to put them on for this. Pretzels, caramel, peanut butter, peanuts, and chocolate bar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I need. I need another. This is celebration time. This is. Have a cup of tea. I, 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 thanks, um, Zach, you are more than welcome, brother. You will be next, I promise you. Pop rocks. Pop, what's pop rocks, Sean? Is that, um, is that, is that, is that a candy? Also, Reese's cups with Reese's pieces inside. Ooh, that sounds good. Pop rocks. Okay, Zach, you're a legend. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I mean, look, look I, I, I've not even started yet. <laughs> Lovely. Look at this. Charleston Chew. Never heard of this. Vanilla. Chewy flavored, no, no, well, we would say nugget, but nougat, delicious chocolatey coating. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. honestly, there's still loads more in here. Cheddar, cheddar jacks. I nearly went really um, west country then. I nearly, where I live, we we we, we pronounce our R's quite a lot, and I nearly, uh, I nearly said, or oh, ched cheddar. That's Cheddar Jack. Cheddar Jack. And I was like, <clears throat> no, that's Cheddar Jack. Is this like, um, oh, baked snack crackers. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 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 
<clears throat> Look at these. Buffalo blue cheese. Cheese curls. So like potato chips. We, we would call these crisps. We would call these crisps, but these are, I guess, potato chips. These are very, very similar to, um, we have crisps over here called Watsits. Watsits. And uh, they're like a cheesy flavor. Oh, look at these. Now, would you guys pronounce that herbs? No. Hers? <laughs> or hers? Sorry, hers. Would you pronounce that hers or hers? Yeah, cheese puffs. Yeah, exactly how we would kind of say what's it's or cheese puffs. Chocolate and cheese jackpot, yes. Manny Story, chewy marshmallow bar, yes. Oh, that reminds me of the Rocky Road I had. That was really, really nice. Oh, wow, I didn't know that, Sean. Buffalo means it'd be spicy. Oh, but I thought that tastes good. Well, I do like a bit of spice. There's still more. There's still there's still more. Chocolate covered popcorn. Ooh. Oh my god. And the Pringles. We know Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. That's what we. Uh, that's the saying. Is that the same over um, across the pond? Do they say that? Once you pop, you can't stop. Oh man, I'm really. I had some tea, or, or I had some dinner before I uh, before I came on, but I'm like, mm, I'm getting quite hungry again now. <laughs> oh wow! Seven Up Cherry. Didn't know Seven Up did a cherry. We over here. We got Seven Up. Well, actually, they, they might do a cherry, but I've not seen one. Um, normally, Seven Up over here is like a lemonade. When we say aid, lemonade, it means it's carbonated, so it's got fizzy, but I think you can say lemonade and it's just like a still cold lemon drink. Is that right? But we, we would say lemonade, um, the aid kind of, I'm not sure what the aid stands for, but lemonade would be like fizzy, fizzy, fizzy pop. But I didn't know they did a cherry and it's in like a Red Bull size can as well. So something to wash all this down with. Yeah, that's a good point. How does that not explode in shipping? I'm wondering if it's, it might be UK, could be UK based, but no, no, it must have, must, no, it's definitely shipped over, definitely shipped over. Uh, add some lime to the 7 Up. Ooh, limeade, lovely. That sounds nice. That sounds really refreshing, particularly on a hot, um, hot sort of summer's day. That is lovely. Just going to quickly uh, catch up with the chat. Mm. Pink Pearl Disney Wishes. It is over here. It is 7, 7.35 p.m. Yeah, not, that I didn't really work. 7.35 p.m. So if you're on the east side, we are five hours ahead. And obviously on the – sorry – yeah, east side, we're five hours ahead. And if you're on the west, it's it's seven hours. Um, what's the uh, milliliters? It might not be in milliliters. 33 centiliters. Would that be similar to milliliters? I'm, I'm not very good with that. Uh, not very good with, with much things, to be honest. 33 centiliters. So is that the same as Red Bull? It looks the same sort of size can as Red Bull. I've got, I've got another drink here, another drink. Wow, not heard of, I've not heard of this. C and C cotton candy. Cotton candy, naturally an artificial, how could, how could it be naturally and artificially? Oh, it's, I guess it's got natural and artificial flavoured soda. 
No, I've never heard of that. I have never, ever, ever heard of that. Have you guys heard of this? Seventeen ounces, I think. Oh, okay, thank you. Eleven thirty-five in Oregon. One thirty-six in Alabama. Yeah, could put some vodka in there, but I'm not. My wife and I are, 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 are off alcohol at the moment. Being very good. Looking after ourselves, you could run your car on that, yeah. <laughs> Two thirty-six in Pennsylvania. No, I've ne I've not heard of that. I'm I'm uh, zero percent fat, one percent sodium, ten percent or thirty grams carbohydrates, twenty-nine grams sugar. I guess that's the one you should look at, but. Yeah, I'll be bouncing. I'll be bouncing off the ceiling when I when I drink that. I'll be like a little kid when he has a little can of uh, soda. <laughs> Cotton candy soda sounds gross. <laughs> well, I'll um, well, I'll let my my reactions tell you what that's like. It's either going to be really nice or like a bit like, mm. Mm. it's interesting. No, I no. No, I've never heard of the CNC. Strawberry cream soda sounds good. Oh, you like the lamp? Yeah, that's yeah. We we call that Rudolph. That's that's the uh, remnants of uh, our little threat. No, it's it's um, it's all artificial. It's not really uh, um, antlers. That's the one. No animals were hurt. No animals were hurt making this. Kellyanne Jones, how are you? It's my friend from my old hometown. Hope you're having a good day or evening now, isn't it? So uh, we've just been uh, doing a prize draw, and I've just been sent some boxing boxes or a box, sorry, with lots of American candy and and pop or soda. I've still got a couple more bits. Couple more bits. Kool Aid. Oh wow, CNC. Based in Linden, New Jersey. <laughs> what is that? Well, politically correct? Yeah. <laughs> no, they are. Uh, that, that is. That is. Uh, that is Rudolph. No, so. um, yeah, Kool Aid. What is this then? Caffeine free. Oh, do you? Oh, do you put that in in water with like ice and stuff, and then is that what you do with that? <laughs> Kelly, I need to tell you, eighty a good over eighty percent of the viewers are now from our cousins across the pond. So uh, yeah, we're we're doing it. It's all very. British and UK themed. So as, as Kelly said, we uh, candy, we call candy sweets and soda we call, well, yeah, soda we kind of call like fizz or like Coke, things like that. But um, Kool-Aid. So sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit all over the place at the moment. I'm still kind of a bit blown away from these super chats and stuff and all your... Uh, all your lovely words in this, mad. But so, does that go in a drink? Fizzy pop, yes, that's it, fizzy pop. Sorry, my, my brain's gone. Right, so you add it in lo lots of water. Okay, that is cool. Whoa. More candy. Look at this. Airheads. You guys heard of Airheads? Mini bars. So it's like a, I guess, a fruit, fruit candy. Yeah, I should check out the directions actually. The only thing is I can't, I can't see anything because my eyes are so bad. 
Can, it, can anyone, can any of you read that? <laughs> I might need my glasses for that one, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you put that in with uh, like water. But yeah, these, these, ch these chaps, airheads, mini bars, assorted flavors. So it's like a fruit, fruit candy. Ah, uh, Audrey. So uh, these are these are good, yeah. These are nice. <laughs> Loving Sims. Loving Sims. How are you? We've had a, we've been well we've been chatting to all of you guys um, on the chats. How how are you today? Airheads are good, awesome. So these are, uh, yeah. I tell you what, I'm, I might, I might, get, I might be able to get a couple of videos out of this. This is, this is awesome. I'm gonna have to have another sip of tea. Another, another little sip of tea, because. Now I'm gonna actually have some uh, fizzy or Coke. This is Coke Zero. Obviously, you have Coke Zero. So I'll be interested, interested to, to, to talk to you about the prices of cans. This is just like a small stubby can. This is 56p, sorry, 59p. So what would that be in dollars or cents? That would probably be 70 cents, 70, no, but even more, 80 cents. How much would you pay for a can of Coke Zero? What unit size? I knew you were going to ask me that. Three, uh, 333 mil. So, 88 cents. Thank you. So, would you, is it fluid answers? Or is it, what, what is your metric, what is your system of, because we use mil, what what is your unit measures for for um, soda? Is it ounce fluid ounces? Ounces, yeah. Okay, I'll just ask my friend Alexa. What is three hundred and thirty milliliters in ounces? Eleven point six. So twelve fluid ounces. Does that make any sense to you guys? Yes. <laughs> Pink Pearl Disney. I should just. I should have just asked you because you. You. You know. I just asked um, Amazon. Alexa. She told me. But yes, I'm having some Coke Zero. Mm. Oh, well, that's nice. Twelve fluid ounces. Yep. Yeah. Wow, one dollar fifty. Amia, one dollar fifty for for one of these. Jeez, this yeah, this is um, this be this is about eighty eight cents. But that's quite, that's actually not a bad price. If you were to go to, if you if you were to go in like a vending machine, and then have all different cokes and um, soda and stuff, you'd probably be looking at about a pound, which would be about one dollar forty. But yes, yeah, service stations are normally a bit more expensive, aren't they? Cheers, Dr Pepper. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, a lot more cheaper at the grocery store. Yes, the cookie Hershey was nice. Yeah, I must admit the the the, the Hershey. I like the Hershey's milk chocolate bar and the cookies and cream. But there was the, there was a stubby bar, and it was Hershey's cocoa little bar. That was that wasn't. All that it was, it was all right, but it wasn't 
the the standard milk chocolate was much nicer and the cookies and cream was was much nicer as well <laughs> normal coke tastes like puke i'm drinking caffeine free diet coke now <laughs> yeah there is a lot of caffeine in normal coke we um tend to have coke zero or the same as you um caffeine and diet and mm. <laughs> five bucks for 12 cans wow five dollars yeah that's, that's good that's really good five bucks for 12 cans that's really good jesus that's really good <laughs> thank you dylan much love from across the pond to you good stuff good thoughts and feelings and vibes to you and your family thank you i still got a couple more things i, I tell you i uh ooh. i'm so easily distracted aren't i i get halfway through a sentence and i go oh looks candy mm. uh, sweet tarts Mini Chewy. Have you guys heard of this? Sweet Tarts Mini Chewy. Mm. Yes. <laughs> A great way to start the week. A superb way to start the week. Oh, is this is... I reckon I could probably get a quite a, a few videos out of this. You, oh, cool, Audrey, you've had them before, have you? Sweet tarts are great. Movie snacks, lovely. Actually, they do look a bit like they're being a, yeah, you sort of rip the side open and just, mm. ah. Ooh. They look ace. They look lovely. And I've got some little sweets here. I could do some drums on that. Um, tootsie, tootsie Roll Pop. Look at that. Tootsie Roll Pop. And that's a Tootsie Roll Pop. I'm not sure what flavor they are. Right. Well, I presume they're like a sweetie. Maybe that might be cola. It might be, I don't know, blackcurrant maybe. Ah, right, okay. Yes, Amanda Perez. Th yes, that's a gr that's a great um, that's a great shout. You got to add the CRV because when you buy, is it just in California? When you buy a can, you pay an extra bit, which is a CRV, and then once you've stored up so many, they collect it and give you some of that money back. Is that just in California? God, I, ne I nearly missed that comment. I'm sorry about that. It's gone now. Um, but yes, yeah, CRV on on cans. That's a really that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> you don't have black currant flavour here. Oh right, okay. Audrey, how many licks does it get take to get to the centre of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> It takes three. Well, that's impressive. So that was the was that the slogan for this for the sweets? I like that. Can't beat a good slogan. Oh, look at this! It's still going. It's still going. Gobstoppers, everlasting. Jawbreakers that change colours and flavours. Look at that. 
You guys had any of these? Thank you, uh, Amanda, for the uh, yeah for the heads up on that the, the CRV. Ah, copper buttons. Thank you. Flavors of chocolate for the brown. Okay, that makes sense. And grape for the purple one. Cool. Great commercial. I need maybe look at that. I need, I've not seen that commercial, so I might. I, I, I feel like I've missed out. Not seeing that commercial. Gobstoppers are the best. I'm going to uh, enjoy this. The thing is, if, when I do a video, I'm going to be like, <laughs> and uh, that's me doing a, a video with uh, everlasting gobstoppers in my mouth. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. Um, the advert on, on YouTube. Right. Thank you, Alison. Uh, yeah, I don't want my, uh, I don't want my uh, uh, yeah, breaking teeth or anything like that, biting into them. If they're like really hard. <laughs> they were. Inspired by Willy Wonka, but yeah. Okay, and we are at the end. Bunch Crunch. Now, I've not, th these look really, really familiar, but I don't know where, I, I'm not sure if I've seen them before. Maybe I saw them from like a movie or something. Bunch Crunch. I, I'm not sure. But does that? Are they? I don't think they have them over here. I've not seen these, but it looks familiar. Yes, Nikita, you're absolutely right. Yes, we we don't have anything grape. Well, we do. We we call it wine. <laughs> that's that's our grape flavor. Is uh, is vino. Uh, vino Tinto or Vino Blanco, red or white wine, that's what we put our grapes into. So we don't actually have a grape juice as such, but yes, you're right, we don't. We put all our grapes into wine. Because we're British and we've got a bit of a drinking problem over here. Lynn, uh, Lynn L, how are you? They look a bit like Maltesers, which what? Oh, what, the actual bit? The, the chocolate, yeah, they do a bit. Cool. So I'm, I'm blown away. I have to say, I'm absolutely, absolutely blown away. Do they, David Newland? We have red and white grape juice in Sainsbury's. Really? Oh, wow, <laughs> I didn't. I, I've I've not never seen that. Jesus. Well, I've learned something. Thank you, uh, Mr. Newland. Mr. Newland does uh, a lot of the um, audio or or the music. I will spit it out in a minute, Mr. H. Spit it out. Music on um, on a lot of my videos. You you occasionally see a little. Uh, I normally do, I give David Newland a little love net. A little love note in the bottom of the corner saying, uh, "My wonderful Mister Newland." Um, but yes, that looks familiar. This looks familiar. But I don't think I've had these before. Maybe it's just looks. The branding maybe looks like a bit like a different kind of um, bit of candy. Come on, Mister H, spit it out. I'm not doing very good here. But just a reminder: we had a prize draw earlier. Three winners, not just one, not just two, but three winners. And I'll repeat them again. The winner, 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 chicken dinner, as we see over here. KM Weber KW. Numero uno. 
Nuno Dos, second winner, Jody Ben, and third, numero tres, Hensko. So again, if you're probably watching this back, send me a message and uh, I will, with your addresses, and I will send you those, these lovely, look at this. Mmm. Mmm. So the first prize winner won all of this. Second prize will win one of these. And the third prize will win one of these. Just bloody generous, aren't I? Just all round great bloke. <laughs> Nestle, yeah, Nestle Crunchy Bar. Yes, the lucky, the very lucky. I'm just, it's just a shame they're not on the chat, but hopefully they'll, they'll catch up and yeah, reach out to me. If you want, I'm going to be, I'm going to try and do this every month. If you haven't signed up, www.mrhandfriends.com. Go there, put your email in, sign up. I will not spam you. Um, I haven't got time to do to do newsletters and things like that, but it's just another way of communicating with you all. Put your email in there, and what I'll do is I'll add you to the list, and once a month we'll do a prize draw, and it'll be very, very, very technical and, and complicated like it is over here and all on computers and stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll just write them on bits of paper and pop them in a cup. And we'll we'll do a prize draw every month. So if you aren't on the uh, website, www Mr. H and friends dot com friends of an S, not a Z, but an S. Mr. H and friends, all one word, lowercase dot com. You'll see a little picture of me going, greetings, and uh, you'll be able to put your uh, email address in there. It'll, it'll ping up on my phone that says that, that, uh, that'll tell me that you've uh, signed up. You can send me direct messages directly to me. Um, I'll pick them up. I do my best. To, I do really do try my best to get back to everyone. Um, you guys have been phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Your support. Um, like I say, I think December, it was almost, you know, I, I, my wife will probably sympathise in in terms of, I was like, what am I doing? I'm putting all this energy and and you know, wasn't really getting anywhere. And all of a sudden, things, you know, a bit of a tweak of the channel, doing more sort of US reactions, and it's just. So you guys are awesome, absolutely awesome. So back to the chats. Papa Maniac, how are you? How, how are you? I hope you are well. If you are, let me know what part of the, uh, the world you're in. Are you across the pond in the States? Yes, if you can like the video, that would be wonderful. That would be lovely. Thank you, Sean. Alison, off to work. No, that's fine. Alison, you are awesome. You are all of you. All of you guys are awesome. I really, really, really appreciate this. I think it's so cool. I was a bit, I don't mind admitting, I was a little bit nervous before I came on because I was like, oh, it's my first sort of live video with, um, since I changed the, uh, the niche or niche. Depending if where you're from, some people, some I hear some of you guys say niche, but we call it niche over here. Um, so my, my first sort of live video, so I was a bit. Um, I don't know why, it's silly, isn't it? But but uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a blast. So Alison, goodbye. Yes, yeah, maybe yeah. Next next month, we we make it a date. Um, what is the date? What is the date today? The first. So why why don't we look at doing the first of every month? So the next one will be uh, April, the first of April. April first. So uh, do you guys have April Fool's Day? Over here we have something called April April Fool's Day, where you play jokes and pranks on people. Even our media get on in it. Um, you have to do it before midday over here. 
Um, otherwise, the joke's on you, apparently. But the, over here, the newspaper will even get involved and do like little pranks saying someone did something, you know, ridiculous. And it was a, you know, obviously a prank. Um, yes, guys, if you uh, if you do want to send anything in, I do have a PA box. Got that up. I'm I am I am renting a PO box now. So in the descriptions, or I think it's in the descriptions, um, there's the address for the PO box. If you do want to send me anything, I can do an unboxing like I did with all this stuff. It's just it's pretty much take, taken over the last portion of the table. I've got so much stuff here. It's unbelievable, absolutely brilliant. Um, April Fools. Yes, yeah, so did you? You guys have April Fool's Day, yeah? Alison, see you next month. Thank you. Yes, April Fool's Day. Cool. <laughs> no pranks on the name pulled out the prize. Oh, you can do the pr pranks all day. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure over here it's you got you got until midday. I don't know why, but you're supposed to do it before midday. Um, what are some of the things you would like you would like to try from the US oh there's loads Mandy, gr Mandy brilliant question um, well since I did the candy um, the candy video lots of people said about a payday bar I've never heard of a payday bar um, that would be cool that would be fun to try um, I've never tried iced tea. Now, I know in one of my videos, I was like, ooh, iced tea. But you guys have won me over because the amount of people that have said, no, iced tea is really nice. And it's not fair on me to comment and go, yeah, that's horrible. If I try it and don't like it, that's different. But if I, if I go, no, I don't like that. And I've never tried it. It's not, a, yeah, it's not, it's not the right thing to do. So, uh, yeah, iced tea. Um what else? I think the the have I've had a obviously the baby roof. You know that was that was a big one for me because I was like obviously seeing it in the uh, in the Goonies, but never seeing it over here. And I've only just seen that our local store sells Reese's cupcakes. So guess what I bought when I went there last? Mm. Uh. Yes, Loving Sims. Um, yeah, what a story. Roy um, Benavides, Roy Benavides. Yes, what a... Yeah, wow, what a video that was. Jesus, that, that guy was... Um, yeah, he choked me up a little bit when he was... At, at the end of the video, when he said, I'm not the hero, you know, the people that gave their lives to the country. I and mean, I was like, oh, my God. <clears throat> you know... It's a uh, yeah, wonderful, wonderful story. What a proper true hero, you know? They, they broke the mold when they made him. He was he's uh, yeah something else, but yeah, great, great video. So no, I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Love the unboxing. Yeah, I I tell you what, I me too. It was that was really good fun. Really good fun. That's cool. I'm, it's cool you have April Fool's Day as well. Send him a rocket launcher. <laughs> no. <laughs> payday bars are great now. Am I right? Are they, are they um, payday bars? Are they peanut butter based? And I, I promise you, I know it's, it's that some people say people, that British people don't like peanut butter and Americans love peanut butter. Hey. I love peanut butter. Pretty much every morning, I'll have peanut butter on toast. So, yeah, obviously toast, bit of butter, peanut butter on top. Lovely. Smooth or crunchy, I don't mind. I think when I was a, even when I was a kid and I was going up through school, um, all the way up to college, I'd, <laughs> I'd have peanut butter sandwiches. Always love peanut butter. Yes, peanut butter. So anyone says, oh, the British don't like peanut butter. Well, I used to just get a spoon and just um, eat, the, eat the peanut butter. 
Um, Sean, my Brit mate, said popcorn isn't a thing over there. I disagree with that. We love we love popcorn. Um, when we go to the movies, um, I love. I actually, my favourite is actually salted popcorn. Um, before our microwave uh, blew up, we would have uh, put the micro um, pack of popcorn in the microwave, put it in for three and a half minutes, whatever it is, nice and warm, or even have it in a pack. But yes, we popcorn over here is yeah, people love popcorn over here. So maybe he doesn't like popcorn. But yeah, I, I'm not a, a massive fan of the sweet popcorn. I, me personally, I prefer the salted. Um, Milo sweets, tea and moon pies. Audrey, that sounds lovely. <laughs> yeah. Have you tried other Reese treats? Papa Maniac, that is a brilliant. Um, the answer is no. The answer is absolutely not. Um, however, this package I've just got, Reese's Take Five. Wow. And I don't, didn't even know this was the thing. Oh, actually, I didn't know that was the thing, to be honest. But Hershey's, they, are they, they teamed up with Reese's. Look at that. Look at that. My, my, uh, my wife for my birthday, um, which was a week or two ago, got me these because she knows how much I like Reese's because they're like my favourite now. So look at that. Oh, I can just I can hear my cat. Give me give me two minutes. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna, I need to let my cat in. Just two seconds. I'll be straight back. Okay, Whew. So yes, that's so cool. So cool. I got so I got yeah, loads of stuff here. I, I'm I don't I don't really know where to start. Root beer. So I just missed that root beer. Um, it's kind of a love it or hate it kind of thing. And I've heard lots of people say about putting a v vanilla float in um, uh, root beer. So our cat's just down having, having some food. Um, yes. So well, I've never had root beer. Yep. Yeah, nice tea. Payday. Yeah. Um, if I do miss anyone's comment, I'm, I do apologise. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, Desmond Ross. Oh, okay, cool. Cheese popcorn rocks. Wow, never heard of that, ever. Yes, copper buttons, I will be doing a video. I will definitely be doing a video, and I need to catch that, that guy that comes out the television screen. He's a, he's a little bugger. I need to catch him because he keeps trying to nick my sweets on candy. I should buy stock in Reese's. Yes. Yeah, Love and Sims. No, I, I, I mean, look, check that out. Hershey's Reese's. You've seen it here first. This is a YouTube first. Never seen anywhere else but here, Mr. H and Friends. <laughs> there she's Reese's. I'm actually really excited. I'm really excited for this. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. I'm I'm like grinning like a Cheshire cat. I'm honestly grinning like a Cheshire cat. I'm just so cool. Um yeah, Audrey, our, our kitty is she's just she's a bit she's she's 14. So she's getting on, but she still looks like a bit of a kitten. And uh, she loves her food. Reese's is marketed by Hershey's. I did not know that. Um, copper buttons, my, uh, our cat is called Fusa, F-O-O-S-A. Fusa. That's when she's behaving. I won't tell you what we call her when she's being naughty.
Vanilla ice cream to make the float. Yes, I've heard of that. Barks root beer is best here. Cool. Yes, Fuza, Mr. Newland. Reese's cereal. Papa Maniac. Jeez. Heck. Do I like black licorice? I never used to as a kid. When I was a kid, I used to, I was the one that sort of picked you know, everything but the black licorice. But yeah, I don't mind it. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't go out my way and just buy just black licorice. But then maybe my, my taste buds have changed. So would I, yeah, I wouldn't say I dislike it. Have I ever, Sean, have, uh, have you ever made sun tea? No, what's sun tea? Please tell me what sun tea is. Oh, men say I love the cereal. Got the mention, sun tea is so awesome. Please tell me what's, what's, um, um, what is sun tea? Yes, Fuza, Copper Buttons, Fuza is a great name. I, that's my wife, actually my wife's cat. She, she had um, her, Fuza. She had our little girl um, when she was a kitten. Um, so yes, they've, uh, my wife's had her since a little kitty. Um, but yeah, someone tell me uh, uh, what sun tea is. I'm really intrigued. She's still eating. I, I'll see if I can. She, sometimes she likes to come on my lap and have a cuddle, if you know, if she if she wants to, because it's, it's on always on the on the cat's terms. Yes, I guess. Yeah, the the S has like a Z sound or Z. We say Z over here. You guys say Z. Um, Fuza. Yeah, it's like a Z sound. Yeah, Fuza. Two cats. Osiris and Suki. Oh, cool. Twizzlers. What's, what's, what's Twizzlers? Yeah, she's a... Uh, Fuzi, come on. She just, she's just had something to eat. She might want to have a little cuddle. But it's got to be on her terms. She's, she's, she's licking her lips. Fuzi. Do you want to come up and say hello? Come on. Good girl. Oh. Gonna say hello? Who's he? <gasps> oh, she's purring away. She's a little cutie. You gonna say hello to the say hello to everyone? Yeah. The thing is, I am actually <laughs> I am actually slightly allergic to cats. So uh, but she's alright. I think I'm getting better. Definitely getting better. But yeah, she wanted to say hello to you all. Oh, she's purring away. She likes, she does like a cuddle. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear, but she is purring. And she dribbles. She does dribble a lot as well, our cat. So you'd be, you'd be, she'll be smoothing her. And the next thing, your, le your leg would be like really wet because she's just like, Barrr. it's a bit, like, a bit like what I'm like when I'm talking about food. Hello. Um, yes. Fill a glass, gallon jug of water, add Six to eight tea, uh, tea bags. Oh, okay, that's how you make iced tea, cool. T 
Twi uh, Twizzlers are long licorice straws, strawberry flavor, I think. Lovely. Pretty girl, yes. Yeah, she's, she's quite comfortable now. Cool. Hey, hello from Seattle. I, I, oh, I, A0014. One seven nine nine. How you doing from Seattle? From across the pond. How are you, my friend? Awesome. Gabe, how are you? I Ohio. Absolutely awesome. I love having you all here. This is absolutely brilliant. Some tea directions. I wonder if they have enough sun to put. Is that us over here? Probably. Well, having said that, we do. We have had a few days of sunshine over here, and uh, normally March, April is normally quite nice over here. It gets quite warm, and it's normally the summer months it start. <laughs> it, it it can rain. Yeah, we've had uh, three winners. Um, it's, it's a shame that the uh, the guys weren't on the chat at the time. It would have been nice to. But our first prize was KM KM Weber Weber KW KM Weber KW. That was first prize. Jody Ben got second place. And Hen Skull got third, which was uh, which was awesome. So K M Weber K W won all of this, all of this, all of this. I'm going to be doing this every month now. I'm going to have to think. I'm going to have to think of some prizes, um, but every month, and uh, yeah, every every month we do a prize draw. Uh, were you guys the first of every month? I think that'd be nice. We can all remember that, can't we? 2 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. here in the UK. So, yeah, what's that? Paul and Peel? You can let me know. That would be awesome. Yeah, she's Mandy. So yeah, she's a she's a lovely little cat. She's the she's getting on a little bit. You know, she's fourteen. She's in a a twilight years now. She's uh but she still runs around like a little kitten. Bless her. So uh, she's got a lovely coat. She's cute. I don't know if you can. That. Hello, say hello. Yeah, you want to say hello? No. Oh, oh, she loves a little, little smooth on her cheeks. But if I do it too long, she just dribbles all over me and makes a right mess. Will Robinson, how are you? Awesome. I'm so glad you're here. That's awesome. No problem, Will. Yeah, how? I, that, sorry, I, sh I should have said this earlier. How's the weather over there? I know you know Texas got hit with a uh, you know a lot of a um, lot of snow in that, and, and Pennsylvania was another state that got hit with snow in the surrounding areas. How how is it now? Tell me, please tell me how the weather is over your side of the uh, over the pond. I hope you're all good, well, safe, and got your power back on and safe. Like I say, I'll repeat that again, safe, which is the most important thing. Idaho. Papa Maniac, Idaho. Wow. We had the pleasure of staying there for a couple of weeks. Um, when my family lived in Idaho for a couple of years. Wow. 
I, I said it in one of my videos. First morning, my wife and I woke up, and um, it was we was one of the. It was a moment I'll never ever ever forget. Because we got there, it was about twenty four hours door to door. So it was a long long trip. Flew from London, which is a couple of hours away from us where we live, and then fly over to LAX, and then got a connecting flight from LAX to Washington. And then we drove down to um, down to Idaho, Bayview. And um, the morning, we woke up in the morning, and uh, I just remember opening up the curtains and just seeing this like massive lake and these like mountains. I was like, wow, I, I, just, I was completely lost, completely lost for words. What a beautiful state. I mean, all the states are beautiful and they've all got something wonderful to, um, wonderful to offer. You know, it's incredible, but Idaho blew my socks off. I just couldn't believe it. The lakes and the mountains. I just, at that time, I hadn't seen anything like it. And um, one of the, is it Coeur d'Alene? Coeur d'Alene? Um, one of the lakes there, really big, deep lakes. And there was a military base, uh, Navy base. And you'll be, you'll be looking down, and all of a sudden, you'll see this, this um, uh, submarine come up because they do like tests. Submarine to pop up and go along with it and then go back down again. It's just like really surreal. Uh, wonderful. Yes, Will, Ro Will Robinson. Awesome. Cool. I'm so glad you're here. Pollen. Good here, South Carolina. Little rain, but good. Oh, that's cool. You still got a foot of snow. Copper buttons. Wow. Seeing grass in places, so slowly starting to thaw out. Hey, Antonius. Really good to have you on this. You, all of you guys have helped me learn so much. The, the comments and, and the things I've learned from you guys have been wonderful. I'm so, it's made my day, you, all you guys being here. Um, hopefully I'm, I'm pronouncing this right, Antonius. What a wonderful uh, messages um, from, you, from yourself and everyone. The, the, the wealth of knowledge you guys have and what I've learned. It, literally every day, every day I'm learning something new. It's just absolutely wonderful. The weather in Seattle never changes. Well, I, <laughs> I've heard in Seattle it's really nice in the summer. Summer's really nice. Would you agree with that? Buckeyes, yes. Gabe, yes. Buckeyes, yes. That would be awesome. There's a couple of videos on the Buckeyes, yes. Ooh. Oh, um... Congratulations on being a winner. And Tony, which, oh my God, I've missed out. I've missed the chat. So, um, ping me your, because that was number one, KM Weber. That was the first prize. Jody Ben was the second prize. And Hen Skull was the third prize. Two inches of freezing rain a couple of weeks ago. Power was out for, oh my days. Three to 12 days? Three for us. Jeez. Eight degrees, eight Celsius. Now he's 46. Wow. Clear and sunny. Yeah, I'm glad you guys got that trick as well. So I'm just playing catch up on the chat. So if what I'm saying isn't like tallying up with what you're writing, I do apologize. Idaho, lovely, beautiful place, yeah. Yeah, here, here, copper buttons, definitely, definitely lovely group, you know, really nice, friendly family feel with everyone. It's, it's wonderful and it's a, it's a pleasure, absolute pleasure.
Cool. Mandine, being in the desert, we have cold mornings, warm up in the afternoon, and then cold again in the evening. We need rain or snow. Oh, really? Bad drought? Oh, that's not. That is not good. Antonius, you are Weber. Check out this. Well, I hope you like. I hope you like chocolate. Because you, you, my friend, have won all of this. You've won that bad boy. And all of that. Look, look, all of this. You've won all of this. That. You've won that. You've won that. You've won that. I sound like a scratch record because you've won that as well. You've won all of that. All of that. I'm just bloody lovely bloke, aren't I? What a lovely guy I am. <laughs> um, if you go onto the website, uh, www.mrhandfriends.com, you can send me a direct message. Uh, Tony, so if you can send me your full address, I will get this boxed up and um, I will get that posted. Uh, directly to you. Um, if you want to take a little photograph of yourself of the chocolate and I can pop it up in the community tab, um, please, by all means. If you're not comfortable doing that, then that's absolutely fine. But if you'd like to, um, ah, cat, ah. Sorry, my cat's just trying to get off my lap. Oh, she just left a big lot of slobber on my leg. Ah, lovely. So I'm just going back to the chat now. So I'm telling you if you want all of that. Wonderful. What a great day. Um, summer in Seattle is nice. Good for boating. Awesome. Northern Idaho. New, near Lewiston. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Barbecue sauce, cool. Yeah, I do like a, a, a barbecue, although we don't do it as well as uh, you guys, or you know, particularly in Texas, I hear they do a very good barbecue. Um, what part of the UK are you from? I'm, I'm from this, what we say, Southwest. I don't, I don't want to be too, va too, too vague, but I want to be a little bit vague. Um, but yeah, I live in the Southwest um, of uh, the UK. So the sort of, um, yeah, oh, that was my cat there. So southwest of, of England I live, um, so the opposite side of London. Uh, so cool, need to send uh, Mr. H some Piggy Park barbecue sauce. Yes, I do love barbecues. Um, cool. Wow, 86, nice. First of March and it's 86 degrees. Gate is already starting to come out early for this year, wow. If you see? Then if you heard, my, my cat just said wow then as well. Wow. Mental cupcakes, how are you? High five, fist bump. To you. Oh, did I see Texas? Winters in Texas can hit 80 degrees. Wow, 116 Fahrenheit. Perfect for cooking eggs on the sidewalk, I bet. Jeez. Jesus. Love Cabri. Oh, that's even better. Sent me the info already. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Congratulations. The first of every month, I want to do this, on the first of every month, I'll be buying stuff and do a prize draw every month just for you guys, just for you, because you are awesome, all of you. Absolutely bloody awesome. Yes, 
Gabe, congratulations to all the winners. Awesome. 86 degrees. No wonder the, yeah, gators are active. Yes. Seattle, yep. Yeah. Lovely. Seattle is the best. How far am I away from London? I am, if I was to drive to London, I'm probably about an hour and a 45 minute drive, um, hour to two hours to London, depending on traffic, it can take more. Um, but yeah, normally about an hour and 45 minutes to get to um, West London, but getting to East can be like three hours at least. Um, can be a bit of a nightmare. So I'm, I'm, I'm seeing this Jeff Coates. Uh, what, what are Jeff, can someone let me know what Jeff Coates are? Are they like a animal? Heck, pollen, wow, Will, the pollen's already out. <laughs> Mr. H, you really run counter. So the British stereotype, reserves, reserve tea, drinking more. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I did have, I did actually have a cup of tea earlier and I got some uh, Coke, Coke Zero. Mmm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yes. I should put the PA box. Um, is my phone here? I should put it in the bow, actually. Um, it's always a bit... I always get a little bit nervous because I, I don't want to like get a box and there's something horrible in it. <laughs> um, I know you guys wouldn't do anything like that, but but yes, I should put the PA box in the about section of my channel. So yes, great point. I, I should do that. Oh, thank you, Audrey. You guys, all of you, you make my day as well every every morning. So just, just bear in mind that we're five hours ahead over here. So if you do, I know it's a lot of the activity, um, people watching um, videos and commenting um, later on. I'm normally in bed or if, if I don't get back to you straight away, I'm, I'm asleep or I'm just waking up. And then when I wake up, um, I, I like to have a coffee in bed. Um, so either my wife will make us a coffee or I'll make a coffee. I'm going to just set my laptop off and start. Um, trying to get back. I do, my, I do my best to get back to everyone. I think it's important that we're a close-knit group. Um, and uh, yeah, I every morning, you know, saying make you, make your day. You guys make my day every morning. I wake up and it's like got messages and stuff and people giving me great facts and tips. Um, I've learned so much. Honestly, I swear to you, I swear to you, I've learned more um, the past sort of six weeks than I think I did in six years at school. And um, you guys really, really, really changed, um, shot my channel up massively. You've, you've been revolutionary in that, and I mean that, because I started my channel, I started the channel properly, putting videos out every month. Um, it was about, about a year ago. And I did a lot of, in my videos, I did lots of, the, the aim of the channel was because we went, we first went into lockdown, people were at home and I felt really, really sorry for people um, who are in like, like small apartments and they haven't got a garden and, and, you know, you're in lockdown, you can't go out, you've got to stay at home, you know, you might be allowed to go for a walk, but that's it. You can imagine like, a, you know, a family, a young family with kids, they can't go out or do anything. I thought there was a lot, you know, big sort of mental illness um, issues going on. So I thought I'd, start doing more on my channel and try and posting every week to sort of sort of cheer people up really um and they used to do a lot of challenges and for months and months and months and my, my, i have to say my wife has, has been a rock for me because it's been quite a few times she put my heart and soul into it every, you know every video i try and put heart and soul into it and i was doing challenges and carolina reaper like, waxed my chest um 
Oh, I did all sorts of things. All, you know, hottest gummy bear in the world. Uh, met some wonderful people. The channel just didn't quite. And it wasn't until I sort of tweaked things, started doing reactions. You guys have, you, honestly, you guys are just, you know, yeah, I don't have the words, but you, you really, really humbling, you know, within a couple of weeks with your support. I've got my channel monetized and it's just growing every day, you know, bit by bit and it's growing. It's all thanks to you guys. So I appreciate I'm, I'm babbling a bit now, but it's quite really, really important to me because I've I put so much into it. And, you know, you're trying. I learn things like when I did the video with a guy, me put my hand up the TV. You know, I did all that. I, I bought a course out of my own money to learn about YouTube and, and, and you know, to, to try and grow your channel. So I knew I wasn't going to get this time again off. So I wanted to do something and, and, and uh, grow something. But you guys have been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, <clears throat> oh, it's a great question. Men, uh, mental Cupcakes, that's a wonderful name. Uh, if money was no object, what are the three top places you'd visit in America? Oh, my God. Um, that's a really good question. I, I, oh, that's a really good question. It'd have to be one with, like, what what states have got the most national parks in <laughs> or the most closest to them? Yeah, really good question. I I would like to go to Texas. Um, I think it's because of the barbecues, really. <laughs> no, I, I would like to go to Texas. I've heard you know, some really wonderful things about Texas. Well, there's, there's so many lovely places. I mean, I've obviously been to Idaho, but I love Idaho. Um, got family in Florida. You know, obviously I've been there before. I love Florida. I'd like to go to North Carolina, South Carolina. Um, yeah. All of them. I want to go to all of them. Every state. There's not like one state or like, mm. you know, I, I would, that's a really tough question. New Mexico, I like going to New Mexico. Oh, what a question. You know, Seattle, I'll go to Seattle. Um, yeah, Washington. It's just so, there's, I can't, I can't, really good question, but I couldn't choose three. I can't choose three. I can't choose, I cannot choose three. And then obviously the southern states as well, and the northern states, and oh, uh, all of them. Sorry, if money was a, if money was no object, I'd be like, right, I'd take, I think I'd try and take a month off and spend a month in each, each state. Oh, I'd love it. And uh, yeah, I'd meet you all and, and we'd, I'd buy you a beer or coffee or something. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? So yeah, pollen. Oh, that's us. Awesome. Uh, love you guys. You guys are absolutely bloody awesome. Uh, the city where we live, oh, we don't actually live in the city. Um, we we kind of live outskirts, but um, yeah, we live. It's, it's on the PO box. So it's not it's not a big big mystery, but yeah, we kind of live on the outskirts of Bristol, um, which is in the southwest. So yeah, Bristol's quite a it's not a big city. Um, university in the city, uh, London. Yeah, where would it be? <sighs> London's obviously the biggest biggest city. Um, I would say Bristol's probably a, maybe a fifth of the size of. London, don't know, but yeah, Bristol was the closest city, not a million miles away, from being honest. I've got to see Oregon, yes. Oh, there's just so many places. There's so many. Oh, thanks for the hearts, there, Antonius. <laughs> was it, was it? <laughs> that is a heart, there, there, that's, a, that's an actual um emoji of a heart, yes. Thank you. Yes, copper button's so big, so much diversity, and yeah, wonderful. It, I, 
always always even as a kid and i know in films they you know it's it's almost it's they sort of romanticize the place but growing up in the 80s i loved you know watching films and everything and this america is so appealing you know anyone over here says oh no, no, you know they're just talking at their backside but so appealing absolutely so appealing and i i'm very lucky i've got family that live out there you know they're all english um Although they moved out there 20, 20 years ago now, 19, 20 years ago. So all, all British, but they've got dual nationalities. Um, my nephew, who if you are watching um, or you're watching a, 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 later, uh, a later time, Bobby, love you. He was, he was born in, in America. And uh, yes, he actually designed... I'm going to say this now, and I hope I don't embarrass you, but Bobby, actually, my nephew, designed um, one of the T-shirts in the, in the merch store. So this, this one here was designed by, see, we've got the Union Jack, and we've got the United States of America. That was made by my friend Zach in the merch store. Um, but, but Bobby, my nephew, designed a Mr. H um, with the with the Union Jack and the um, Stars and Stripes um, on the merch store, so he actually designed one for me, and uh, I love that. I absolutely love that. He's so cool, and uh, yeah, wonderful. Bristol was famous for their street art. Yeah, that's a, yeah. There's um. There's certain places in Bristol have got street art, but yeah, it's a bit more graffiti. <laughs> but yeah, they do a lot of art over here. Some of it's really nice. I'm, I'm jesting. Um, it's like any city. There's some really nice places, but there's some really horrible places. Uh, but that goes for any city. I mean, London, um, where I work, my head office is actually in London. It's not a bad part of London. There's some really nice places, but there's some really... Lots of nice places. Yellowstone, yes, Papa Maniac, Yellowstone is a must-see. There's so many. Not far from Bath, Loving Sims. You are, yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're not a million miles away from Bath, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I was not surprised. I was not expecting that comment, Loving Sims. Not far from Bath. You are absolutely right. Bath is lovely. Beautiful part of the world. Lots of history. The uh, Lots of like sandstone buildings. Very, very unique uh, feel. And the, the art architecture is very unique. And you, as soon as you're in Bath, you get, yeah, I know I'm, I'm in Bath. Um, yes. Hey, old Darth Bane. Hey, Darth Bane. Badass. Um, more American football. Actually, I've not done any American. F uh, well, the sorry, I did the commercials. But yes, I need to learn more about American football. And gay peddler. Yeah. A lot of Americans don't travel outside the US. I mean, why would you really? I mean, it's, it's bloody expensive to travel overseas. And like, what's on your, do you know, on your doorstep, everything you want is in in your country. Deserts, skiing, you know, the sun, snow, uh, beaches. Uh, it's big city, you know, you want the city breaks, you can have city breaks. You know, if you want to get into a national park, go traveling, hiking. Oh, I'll tell you, there's one thing I would love to do, and I'll probably have to wait till I retire, I think, before I can do it, is, is do the Route 66, but on a big chopper bike. Not the big, nothing fast, because I wouldn't be able to handle a real fast motorbike, but like a big sort of easy rider. Mm. <laughs> That's my impression of a motorbike. Um, but sort of easy rider, laid back, really loud, but doesn't go very fast. But, but like me, really. <laughs> um, that would be cool. But yeah, American football. I, I don't know anything about American football. Um, I don't know the rules or anything. So, yeah, more American football. I'd like to do uh, more on the rules. And I think the, the stadiums would be quite an interesting one because they're just – college football is 
I didn't realise how big college football is. It's huge, absolutely huge. It actually dwarfs our football in terms of the professional. Um, but yeah, I'd like to do something more on American football. It's copper buttons. Yes, I'm. I have a, a nephew. Yes, who was born in America. Um, they they still got dual nationalities. He's got a British passport and, a, and an American passport. Um, so yeah. So oh, oh, Audrey, did you see his design? Yeah, he did the Mister H um, with the two little. I think Mister Mister is in the UK or the Union Jack, and the the, the H is in the. Well, part of it has got the stars and stripes next to it. But, yeah, he's done a great job. Bless him. Catherine, how are you? Huh? Um, yes. Catherine, how are you? You've been to Bath. It's five days. Favourite city in the world. Wow. Brilliant. Yes, we like Bath. So you went there for five days. How, when, wh how long ago did you go? Did you visit anywhere else? Was it, was it just a, a quick trip over or was it, uh, did, you, did you travel around? Mental cupcakes, yes, you did a great job. Yeah, really, really chuffed for that one. Yes, cover but he is very talented. He's, he's, uh, he's a, yeah, he's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Hopefully uh, you get to watch this a bit later. Oh, okay, Mandy, on the first week of October, Albuquerque has the international balloon, oh, 600 hot air balloons take off and wave in the sky. Lovely. It's not, not nowhere near that size, but we have uh, balloon fiestas over here, but not maybe not 600. <laughs> but that's, that's wicked. That is amazing. Will Robertson, yeah, I, you know what, I, I think the US is wonderful, and I'm not, I'm not, I promise you, I'm not just saying that. I love, I love going over there. Um, before I've been over there loads on my own. Um, before I met my wife, I'd go over all the time and spend time over there with my family, uh, well, my sister and and and, and their family, um, husband and kids, and uh, yeah, always loved it. Every every year, holiday. On my own, loved it. I'd use that all my holiday to 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 go over there, um, which is you know we're very lucky over here. We get a lot of I say we get a lot of holiday, but yeah, I, I like to do like if I can do three weeks because it's it I I need a week to sort of adjust to the time zone, um, you know, and 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 we're very lucky and you know you can go over for a week, but I, I it just the time flies so 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 quickly, and. Uh, yeah, I try if I can, but it's normally two weeks now. Um, but yeah, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Loved it, love it. Yeah, I mean, as far as the things on the news, I, I, I don't want to get too political or anything like that because it's just not worth it. Um, but the me the media, they I promise you, they like to stir it up. They really stir it up. Um, they, it's almost like they want us to hate each other. And um, I don't know, you've probably heard of BBC. They do BBC America. We, we don't, yeah, we, we, over here, if you have a TV and you watch live TV, it's mandatory. You have to have a TV license. <coughs> and they, they're not, BBC aren't good, really. Um, so we don't, we don't pay, I don't watch any, we don't watch any live TV because it's just, I'd go to work and, you know, I'd wake up in a really good mood. I'd watch the news and I'm like, I just want to cut my wrist. You know, it's just awful. You know, everything's like, this is crap. This is crap. This is crap. It's like, they never talk about the good things in, in the world, you know, and I'm, I'm just fed up of, of, you know, all the bad. Yes, of course there is bad stuff in the world. There always will be, you know, but there's a lot of good stuff going on in the world. And, uh, you know, we, we, you know, sick for the pandemic and everything that's going on, you know, I mean, over here now, you know, they're, they're all they're talking about, the UK economy has collapsed. It's like, well, 
yeah, that's what happens when you put a country in lockdown for not nearly a year. They don't trade. They're not, they, you know, most of the, uh, the businesses aren't trading, so they're not going to be making tax and stuff. And it's like, well, yeah, of course that's going to happen. But anyway, sorry. <sighs> Different subject. I love, I love the States. Love it. Okay, uh, Mr. H, I have to ask, is a hot dog a, hot dog a sandwich or a taco? Okay, a hot dog, would be, I would, well, it's the same kind of thing as what you would say, hot dog. We would say hot dog is a, uh, like a sausage, wiener sausage in a bun, put mustard on. That's what we would say a hot dog is. Um, sandwich, we would just say a sandwich, so two bits of bread, peanut butter in the middle, like I used to have when I was at school. Cut in half, sandwich, and taco, tacos. Um, oh, wow. The chat just jumped. Um, sorry, the chat just jumped, jumped then. I'm, I lost where I was. Balloon Fest, yeah, festival looks awesome. Would I be opposed to watching professional bull riding? You know what? That's really, there was a, a Netflix documentary. I can't remember what it was called. The guys were like nuts. I know the, the Brazilians are really good bull riders. Um, that I mean, yeah, real dangerous. But yeah, we watched it. Really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, I'd I'd I, I'd, I'd watch it. Professional bull riding. I, you know, yeah, we we, we really enjoyed that documentary. We watched. Um, but I think what we watched was always like the Americans and the Brazilians were like always at the top, um, top bull riders, really, uh, really good, really interesting. The guys are like <sighs> mentally strong. I mean, they're in that cage, aren't they? It's like, and they open out and it's just like, wow, geez, these guys are, well, yeah, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great video about flyovers in the NFL. Okay, cool. Republic HQ. High five, fist bump. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, college football. I, I like I say, I just didn't. I huge. I never realised how big that that sport is. Balloon Fiesta is really fun. Ah, oh, eleven Sims. You got your British um, ancestors came from Scotland, England, Wales, Germany, Austria, Switzerland. Cool. Yeah. Wow, Oregon has a lot to offer. Well, I've never seen a volcano. Not in real life. Skiing, never been skiing. Lovely rivers, fishing. Lovely. Oh, Linnell, my ex-husband's from England. Oh dear. <laughs> I, well, I hope you, you you parted on nice terms. Um, Twenty percent Irish. Cool. <laughs> yeah, hot dogs. Love hot dogs. Absolutely love hot dogs. Yeah, Route 66. I'd love to do. Love to do that. Big chopper. Just chilled. Get a nice bit of time and then just sort of plan, plan it out where you're going to stay and just sort of chill. And you know, like, oh, well, just to see all the sights, you know. Thank you, Audrey. I try, I really try to be positive because I, I, I'm I'm with you guys. I'm fed up of all the the negativity and stuff. And you know, life is short. You know, it's it's easy to bash. You know, the people bash the UK all the time, and you know, and I know America gets a bit of stick as well, and all this. And it's like there's so much good, you know. And I'm like, I'm generally genuinely interested to learn what a wonderful country we have, and it's just like. 
Yes, it's it's wonderful. People say, "Wow, you know, it's nice to hear positive things about you know about your country." It's like, well, yeah, it's a wonderful country. You know, it's just I've I've just I don't I'm I there's no room in my heart in my head for negativity and if people want to hate and stuff. Then that's down to them. But there's no room in my heart for hate. Can't be doing with it and negativity. Oh, thank you, Copper Buttons. Channel is an example of what's good in the world. And I, I, will, I will echo that and rebound that back to you, all, all of you. You are, all of you are what's good in the world. And I mean that. Is cereal a soup? Cereal over here is what you, what you can have in, uh, what you have at breakfast. Um, so you have like cornflakes with milk, stuff like that. That's what we call a cereal. Um, and like soup is just like soup, <laughs> like tomato soup or vegetable soup. Yeah, video state. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Stadium of football, um, football stadiums will be would be awesome just to see the sheer scale of them. Yeah, great. O Oregon, Oregon sounds awesome. Lovely. I've been in a hot air balloon once. Um, yeah, they, I know the conditions have to be just right. Over here, it can be a bit dodgy. Um, but yeah, the, it, it's, it's beautiful. Very, but it's particularly when the things thing, <laughs> the, uh, the the burner, when that when they don't do that because it's quite loud and you're just floating. It's really peaceful. It's like wow, you're just seeing all this. Wonderful landscape. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I have been over in the 4th of July and I can't for the life of me remember what year it was. Oh, no, no, it was in Idaho. We were in Idaho and they had the 4th of July. The the naval base that was close by put on the fireworks and it, they, it was like Disney, that sort of scale of, of fireworks. It was just like, wow, not just like two minutes. It was like full on like 25 minutes of like uh, unbelievable fireworks. Never seen anything that impressive. And it was all free. Obviously it's free because it, we just looked out on the deck and saw all these fireworks going off. But yeah, wonderful. Really enjoyed that. Well, I, I, I will. I, I kind of sympathise. The uh, well, obviously, I'm British, but I'm English, as you guys know, and every, <laughs> everyone hates the English. I mean, even. Scottish hates us, Welsh hate us, Irish hate us, and I, I, I think it's a, I think it's, oh, I like to think it's a, like a love to hate us. It's, it's kind of a banter thing. I mean, there are a few people that really hate us, but, but I remember growing up being like, I always supported Scotland and Wales and uh, an island growing up, like soccer. And uh, I remember seeing something on TV, and they're like, "No, I'm, I'm, I support anyone but England." And I was like, "Oh, what? You don't support England?" And they're like, "No." I was like, "Oh." <laughs> so it was like my like lovely world sort of crashed a little bit. But yeah, everyone hates the English, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> so I sympathise with you, but we're all right, you know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change my ways and and be hateful if people want to hate us then you know fair enough but there's a lot of good stuff in the world and uh, you guys are awesome but yeah don't don't worry about getting bashed jesus bloody hell 
people you look hard enough you'll find bad everywhere you know it's people just like bad news and like being horrible about things but i the, the videos i've done i just realized you know just reinforced what i already knew but what a wonderful beautiful country you have i mean <clears throat> some of these things that you guys have seen us brits can only dream of you know most most um, brits will never ever ever get to see some of the sites or all of the sites you have seen so you're you, you know you, it's 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 wonderful enjoy it embrace it love your country there's nothing wrong with saying i love my country brilliant go for you know good wonderful country Oh, well, I got it wrong. Not a naval base. <laughs> oh, okay. So I got it wrong, but it was some military thing. So I have really, yeah. I thought it was like a naval base or something. It was a train. There was a there was a training thing, and they had a submarine. It was it wasn't like a full size submarine, but it'd come up and then go back down again. That was that was very cool. But yeah, no no naval bases in Idaho. Okay. <laughs> I got that wrong. Well, oh, thank you. Well, we, yeah, we English love love Americans too. I think it's it's a uh, it's uh, there's a it's a real unique bond and a special bond our countries have. And uh, there's always going to be people that want to ruin that, but let them, you know. Amanda Perez, lunchtime been fun to get to know everyone thank you so much for checking in this is really cool absolutely so so cool everyone we're all hanging out having a chat brilliant did i notice a lot of american flags yes i did i did and i love that i thought it was i think it's wonderful why why shouldn't you be proud of of um you know, having your flags out. I mean, I, I, don't ever let it get over there like it is over here. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you just, just just one story. When it's the World Cup, like soccer, there's certain places you can't, you shouldn't fly your flag because it might offend people. But that's a different story, and that's certain. That's only certain parts of the country. But um, you know, I like to cheer my country on when we're playing soccer and stuff but yeah it's 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 yeah sad Catherine not everyone hates the English oh that's lovely to know cool that sounds a good a, a good documentary love America I wasn't even born here where we, Gabe where, where were you born Jody, Jody. Jody. <laughs> you got second place. I'm not sure. Jody, you got second place. So I've just seen um, living in Charleston. How are you? High five, fist bump. Jody, you got second place. You won one of these. Ta -da! You won second place. So when you go on to mrhandfriends.com, send me your address and I'll post this. So first, first. Oh. First prize, won all of this, all of that. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna to buy another one of these. So Jody, that is for you. And then third place, Hen Skull. I don't know if you are here. Hen Skull, you won one of these bars of chocolate. So, Jody, how, how nice am I? How, Bloody nice. 
how nice am I, eh? Um, no, se- all jokes aside, send me your uh, address. Go onto the website when you can. Give me your address. It's all secure. No one's going to see it apart from me. Um, I'll package it all up and I'll send you. I'll send you that bar of chocolate. So congratulations. That is awesome. I'm so glad you got in the chat. That is brilliant. So it's just the last one is hen skull. So uh, yes, well done, Jodie. Brilliant. Yes, well, I'm just catching up. Living in Charleston. Sorry, we chatted. We, we, we've all chatted before, but yeah. How cool was this? So just a reminder, first of every month, we're going to be going live and doing a little prize draw for all of, all of you guys. So we can all hang out, have a chat, catch up, see how um, life is in your part of the world. And uh, yeah, do some little prizes as well. Yes. Just finished up a college, oh, a college class. Just made it in time, Jodie, brilliant. So yes, that, yeah, look at all that. So yeah, I'm really happy for you. Really, really happy for you, awesome. Cool, like this, spreading some uh, good stuff and positivity. <laughs> <laughs> Copper butters. My real name's Hensko. Okay. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, uh, Catherine, we'd love to. We um, we, we that, I, I want to get over. I do want to get over there as soon as possible and see my um, my sister brother-in-law and the family um you know as you know they they live in florida so yeah we're very close really really close my sister and i are really really close and uh yeah i as soon as we get like vaccines and everything and everything's safe to to do that um obviously we don't want to put anyone at risk so once that's all done you know i can't wait to go out there that's like the first holiday i want to do really because uh didn't do it last year and it's probably my first year in a long time I've not been out there, which was tough. <clears throat> but we'll get out there again. We will get out there again. Nice to see a Brit who doesn't hate America. No, no, no. We, we love America. Well, I, I, you're like I said, you're going to get some idiot that hates for, for, for being, you know, a twat basically and if anyone says i hate that country is very ignorant and naive and the most of people if, if they go oh, i don't I, I don't i don't like america guaranteed if i say to them have you ever been they go no so well how can how can you so don't don't you'll get people i mean people hate the english and the, and the british but only i've only seen good things here in the, in, the, in the chat, and I, and I love America, and I think you guys are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Eighty over eighty percent of my viewers, my viewers are, are are from the US, and yeah, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Well, good for you, JD, re, re educating yourself and retraining yourself. Good for you. Fist bump. High five. Well done. Never, never, ever. We're in the same age bracket, by the way. Um, never too old to, uh, to, to learn more. <laughs> if that was at my house, I'd be eaten already. I'll tell you what, it's really hard. I'm like, hmm, I could just. But then I've got all this candy over here from, from, the, uh, from the parcel earlier. It's been wonderful.
Oh, bloody hell, Mandy, what, what, oh, thank you, bloody hell, thank you so much, Mandy, thank you so much for the super chat, jeez, thank you, thank you so much, just blown away, absolutely blown, absolutely blown away, you guys are amazing, absolutely amazing. Hey, a, a Tempe, a Tempe. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. A Tempe, um, race to the skies. That was a cool video. Good to see you. High five, fist bump. That is awesome. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you, oh, thank you so much for liking the channel. Yeah, L London's London's uh, London's a not really nice place. There's there's some like all cities is good and bad everywhere. A lot of history. If you go to the right places, it's beautiful, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, but I obviously do a lot with my my job. Although I'm on furlough at the moment, I'm do a lot of travelling into in and out of London. It can be a bit of a nightmare travelling. But yeah, L London's a lovely place. Don't, I wouldn't just limit it just to London. Um, lots of places all around the UK, but yeah, that is so cool you're here. Living in Charleston, yes, learning is living. Knowledge is king. Knowledge is king, absolutely. You just turned 29, 10 years, 10 days ago. Oh, I tell you what, I wish I did. I wish I was. <laughs> 29 I'm in my in my uh in my 40s now yes blushing time again it, yeah yeah I think you know you should always yeah a great great um your dad sounds a, an awesome guy saying you know always learning I I it, it helps when you're interested in something it's like with my I don't want to keep talking about the, the, the channel too much, but um, the if you're interested in, in something, like I'm interested in America, obviously got family out there, always have, you know, it makes it so much easier and you want, it's not a case of being at school and you have to learn. It's like, well, I know I want to learn and I want to see all these beautiful places and learn about different states and, you know, even, even doing the... Um, if you if you get a, if you haven't seen it, try get a chance and watch it. I did the American citizenship test. It was one of my one of my earlier videos. I had a beard as well, and I look about fifty. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so that was an earlier video. I did the uh, American citizen test. That was great fun, and um, I didn't do very well. But uh, yeah, great fun. Oh, cool, Catherine. DNA done. The English, Scottish, and Irish. Well, there must have been a lot of alcohol in your in your uh, in your DNA when they took the test. <laughs> That's cool. Exactly. Yeah, Gabe. I I couldn't agree more. Don't make sense to me. To hate other countries. Might not agree with what the government does. Exactly. You can't. You know, you can't just bundle everyone in just because there might be a person running the country or whatever, not getting involved in that. You can't, how can you judge a whole country on one person or, or you know, it's nonsense. Good and bad everywhere. Good and bad everywhere. And uh, we're only interested in the good. Oh, uh, Amir, don't, you've already, thank you, wow, Jesus, thank you, thank you very much, bloody hell, I, you should, honestly, you should not have done that, <sighs> very, you just want to see me blush, I think that's what it is, oh, well, you are, a, a, tem, a tempe, you are, make, you're gonna, you are gonna make me blush, look like I'm in my 20, early, sorry, late 20s, early 30s, well, well, that's very kind, 
That's really kind. Yeah, thank you. I mean, yeah, that's. Yeah, I, I'm. I don't really have the words really, but thank you so much. It makes learning an exciting thing when you're interested. We want to, Yes, exactly, exactly that. If you're interested, there's a difference between having to learn and wanting to learn. If it's something you're interested in, and if you want to be a, a, a veterinarian, well, I take my hat off to you. You know that's not an easy thing to do, but what a great career that is. You know you're gonna, you'll be you know helping people obviously with their pets and stuff and learning biology. You know, wow. Well, believe, unbelievable. Well done. Good for you. Good for you. Yes, copper buttons. All the good people here from different countries, different states. Wonderful. We've got a lovely, we've got a wonderful community here. And I, I wouldn't change it for the world. And I mean that. Would not change it for the world. The genealogy. Wow, it's a sea captain who served with St. Francis Drake. Get you. I'm not sure if I should bow. Sailed with Sir Francis Drake. What a great story. That's, that's incredible. Spanish Armada, true Elizabethan sea dog. That is awesome. JJ, two animals, three dogs. Love, love animals. Three dogs, four cats. They get a lot of practice, yeah. I have to say, growing up, I was all, always brought up with dogs. Love dogs, understood dogs. Love, you know, love a little tussle. And then when my, my wife and I, we first got together, she obviously had a cat. And I just didn't get, I didn't understand her for ages. And then uh, all of a sudden, I was like, yeah, I get cats now. We get them. And it's, it's, it's on their own terms. But incredibly loving. Lo you know, I, I wouldn't, couldn't be without our cat now. Love, and I am, a, I am allergic to cats as well. But I love cuddling up. She comes out and cuddles up. And then I do her the little glands she has there. And she's like, oh. And then she's like dribbling. She's literally dribbles everywhere. And she's got this big wet patch on my leg where I'm like doing it and I'm like on here. And she's like, oh. she's cool. She's really cool. But yeah, I totally understand. Understand. Love cats as well. Currently had to fix a baton claw on a dog. Oh, wow. Poor doggy. Papa Mania, you got to nip out and um, get you getting your uh, grandson. Thank you so much for joining the chat. Thank you so much. You are awesome, absolutely awesome. That yeah, really cool, Catherine. Yes, very cool. Take care, Mania. Oh. No bowing. That's everything in the Civil War. Oh. Work for local rescues. Fostering of dogs. Oh, pregnant dogs. Cats are great. Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> What what I love I love I love all animals. What I love about dogs, you just they just it's just all the time. It's just unconditional love, all the time. They just want to like. Or my old dog used to know when you're ill. And, you know, if I was like had like a flu or something, I was just like laid up with covers on me. He'd come up and just put his chin on my leg, and be like, look, be looking up at me, and he'd know I was ill. You know, I wasn't very well, and he'd want to sort of like lay with me and just be like, oh, I'll make you better. And it's just like, and they're so pleased to see you. And you come through the door, the dog's going mad. It's like, ah, you're here. Wow, I want to play. Look what I've done, you know. Ah. And uh, <laughs> our cat, at the moment, you open the door, she's like, ah, meow, I want food. And uh, yeah, 
<laughs> Dogs have masters. Cats have um, slaves. Or uh, I'm not sure that was the right, not right terminology. Um, but yeah, you they, you you they they tell you what they want. But dogs are just like, come on, love dogs, love dogs. My great grandfather was a sea captain too. Wow. Oh, Lucy Captain's probably related to an Irish poet. Love dogs and cats, but cats more. Love, I say love all animals. Yes, writing poetry is, is, a, is a massive talent. I, I'm, I wouldn't know where to start. I'm not very creative in that sort of, in that sort of vein. <laughs> That's a great comment, Sean. The thing I, I love about dogs, they live in the moment, every moment. Yeah, they do. They are just bonk bonkers. Always pleased to see you. Always, always, always pleased to see you. As soon as you open the door, they're like, <sighs> love it. Living in Charleston, take care. Have a good one. Yeah, the first of every month, the first of every month, we begin, we're going to do a prize draw. From now on, yes, prize draw, first of every month, we're going to do a prize draw. Or if you, if you aren't on the, uh, it's a mailing list, but I'm, I'm not going to be spamming you. It's just another way to communicate to you. Um, www.mrhandfriends.com. There's a thing on there. You put your email address in and, yeah, you'll be in the prize draw every month, first of every month, um, and it'll be 2 p.m. Eastern and, uh, yeah, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Uh, UK time. But, yes, living in Charleston, so glad you dropped stop by. Glad everyone stopped by. It's brilliant. Yes, servants was the, uh, was the word, Gabe, I was looking for. Catherine, back to work. Take care. Have a lovely day. Thank you for stopping by. Amia, my ancestors came from the crazy. Wow. Way, way, way related to George Washington. Jeez. I do need to bow. That is awesome. Yeah, it's different. We're, with animals, they're like, they are part of the family, aren't they? Yeah, very, very, very emotional and sad. And yeah, when you lose a pet. Well, related to George Washington, that is pretty, um, pretty amazing. Marlon, how are you, sir? Fist bump, high five. How are you doing? You having a good day? Marlon Stallings, hope you're having a good day, Mr. H. Oh, cool. Thank you. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, Marlon. I'm looking forward to that. I had a box, I did a box here. Um, yeah, that, I've just, I'm absolutely blown away. Honestly, blown away with the, the support you guys have given me. 
Um, very, 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 very humbling. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I look forward. I really look forward to that, Marlon. Thank you so much in advance. Poetry is truly an art. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's sad. Sorry, talking about losing a, a, a pet, which is, you know, basically like losing a member of the family. Tragic. Uh, where do you get your ideas for topics of what to do, um, do your videos on? Um, it's basically a lot of it shout outs. Um, or if I see a video that's done really well in a short amount of time. So if, if a video is done <clears throat> and it's covering the, you know, something American, um, and if, if let's say it's five months old and it's got like five million views or something like mental like that, I'll be like, well, there's it, that tells me there's a, there's a people are interested in that obviously. And I try and tie it in with, with um, kind of with, with what I do really. Great day in Mexico. I bet it is. What's the uh, what's the temperature, Marlon, in Mexico? Jeez, I bet it's lovely and warm. Just to let you know, it's uh, it's half past nine in the evening over here. So uh, you 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 guys would be um, late afternoon, depending on what part of the world you're in. <laughs> I like your comment, Mandy. Mandy's story. I'm probably <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with you on this one as well. Me too. Um, I'm probably related to some poor Spanish slob <laughs> that got sent to the New World because he didn't want to go to jail. <laughs> uh, I like that. That was a good comment, Mandy. Brilliant. <laughs> that made me laugh. Yeah, that's probably the same here, really. <laughs> Oh. Yes, that's cool. The, the Revolutionary War, heck, wow. I mean, I need to, let me just double check what the, um... oh, yep, Judy filled out a form. Thank you. I'm just going to have a look at the likes on um, the, where are we? The likes on the Revolutionary War. Look at that. 400, 415 likes. So we are 85 likes away from doing part two. 85, I couldn't believe it. It's just gone crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh, beautiful black and tan German Shepherd. Oh, his name's Ace. Oops, he's Mark. German Shepherds are very, very intelligent. Very, very. They're one of the most intelligent dogs um, out there. They are. They need a lot of mental stimulation because they're so intelligent. Um, but yeah, the little fun fact. Lovely dogs. Uh, yeah, incredibly intelligent. <laughs> it's almost 2.30 in Colorado. Oh, wow. So you are, yeah, you are seven hours, but yeah, Jody, you're seven hours behind um, us. Again, just to let you know, if when you do comment on any of my videos um, and it's sort of late afternoon, early evening, I, the chances are I'm in bed. So I always try and get back to, to people as quickly as I can. So if I'm not working, I'll get back to people as quickly as I can. Um, but obviously just bear in mind that I am a few hours ahead. So if I don't get back to you straight away, it's not, I'm not being rude or ignoring anyone. I'm probably in bed asleep. But what the first thing I do is, is well, 
obviously make a coffee um a nice cup of joe as my friend copper copper buttons told me it's copper cup of joe uh a cup of coffee in the morning and then i put my laptop on and then start going through some of the comments and uh, learning straight away as soon as i put the the, the laptop on i start reading the comments and, and just like just learning more 4 30 here on the east coast lovely Hey, Liam, Liam O'Brien. High five, fist bump to you. How are you today? Good, to, good. I'm so glad you're in the chat, Liam. Seventies, nice and clear in Mexico. Lovely. Seventies, wow, I bet that's lovely, this, you know, nice, this time of year. Trace my last name all the way back to origin. Country, wow. 70 here. Nice. Lovely weather. We actually, we actually had, we've had a couple of nice days over here. I mean, it's not like being really warm, but the sun's been out, which, um, which is lovely. Love the sun. Love spring. Love spring. Everything's coming to life. Everything's coming to life. Two thirty in Arizona. Cool. It's cool here in Tucson. Lovely. Seven point two Celsius, geez. Right, guys, I am going, I'm going to love you and leave you. It's, uh, it's 9.35 p.m. here. I just wanted to um, say thank you all so much for all your support. I can't, I'm blown over with all your support, the, the, the super chats, um, everything. It's just been absolutely wonderful. I've got all these treats here as well which has been um phenomenal i've got videos up for tomorrow just just before i go um i've got videos up for tomorrow and wednesday already so tomorrow we have i'll be reacting to the 15 most dangerous animals kept as pets so, um, so I've just seen this. Um, when's your next live stream? So, yeah, the live streams are going to be now the first of every month. So, uh, obviously, the next one will be first of April or April 1st. And um, 2 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. UK time. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to do a prize draw every month on the first of every month. We can all get that, all get together, hang out, and... Um, Yes. So yeah, tomorrow's video is uh, I'm reacting to 15 most dangerous animals kept as pets. And then Wednesday, um, British guy reacts to 15 people pick the best restaurant chain in their state. 
So the best restaurant chains in each state. And that'll be Wednesday. So, um, and then I've got to do some more editing for vi videos for the, for the rest of the week and into the weekend. But I just wanted to say, I love you guys. Seriously. Thank you. Um, I've really made some, Oh, do I see Serial Man? Sorry. Serial Man. Serial Man 27. High five. Fist bump to you. I'm, I am just about to sign off. Um, I'm so glad you, I say you barely made it. Um, wonderful having you here in the chat. The guys, everyone's, everyone's been, I don't really want to go to be honest, but I need to sort of get myself, uh, get myself ready for bed. Um, I've got a bit of a long, longish day tomorrow, but I just wanted to say thank you all so much. Love you guys so, so much. The world is a good place, a better place for you um, being in it. Thank you for, yeah, you, yeah, your support is just, yeah, very, very, <clears throat> very, very humbling. So, from your friend across the pond, from uh, Britain or England, um, love you guys so much. And um, 1st of March, sorry, 1st of April will be the next one. Hopefully see you on tomorrow's video. But all I, you know, all I can say is, I know it's a bit corny, but I, I always say it is take care. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.